So in this question, question 38, what are isotopes of an element? What is the definition of isotope? So isotopes, they will have same protons and electrons. And they will have different neutrons. That is the definition of isotope. So atoms of diff and the condition atoms of the same element. So here it is atom of different elements which cannot be A or B. So either C can be an answer or D can be an answer because atom of the same element which are having different number of what? They have different number of neutrons. So C is the right answer. Why D is wrong? Because I mentioned they have different number of protons. They don't have different number of protons. They have same number of protons. So when Rutherford bombarded a thin gold foil with alpha particles, so this was a Rutherford experiment as we already discussed that what he did, he took a very thin gold foil or a metal foil and he targeted this metal foil by a fast moving alpha particle and what he observed, he observed Few of them deflected, few of them bounce back, and most of them are able to pass through. So he found some of the alpha particle were deflected through large angle. So why, like example, look, these are the observation. What are the observation? Number one, most part of atom is empty because most of the alpha particles are able to penetrate or pass through. That was first observation and conclusion. Second observation that few of the alpha particle deviated their ch or changes the direction. And the third that is due because of the charge is there, the positive charge of the nucleus or light charge or alpha particle and the nu nucleus have the same charge and few of them bounce back, which means the matter is present or mass is present. So we have to explain he found some of the alpha particle deflected through large angles like the statement 2 and statement 3. Some of the alpha particle deflected through large angle or changes their direction. So what might be a reason why they change the direction? So they change the direction because the nucleus contain a charge and they change the direction because the mass is present in the nucleus. So most part of atom is empty. This is true. But that is not explaining why the alpha particle changes a direction. So A cannot be answered. When we check B, all the all of the positive charge, like there's a charge in the nucleus and most of the mass is present or concentrated in the nucleus. That's why the alpha particles are changing their direction. So statement two and statement three are written together here in option B that there is a charge that causes a deviation and there is a mass that causes a deflection or bounce back of the alpha particle. The third one, the positive charge in the gold atom is spread evenly. That is totally wrong. All the negative charge is concentrated at the center. That's also wrong because in an atom, we don't have the negative charge in the center. We'll always have electrons revolving around the nucleus. So there are three students, they are describing the structure of an atom. Student one, what he said, he said all the positive charged particles are present in the nucleus, like the protons are present in the nucleus. So that's true. Student one statement is correct. Student two said that the positive electron, how electrons are positive electrons are negative. So that's student two is incorrect. Student three suggests the electron, the negative electron orbit the nucleus. So student three is correct. So which students are making the correct statement? So one and three are making the correct statement. That's why C is the right answer. Then question 39, when alpha particles are incident on a thin metal foil, So there is, this is also related to Rutherford experiment, atomic uh, structure. 
most of the alpha part most of them pass through undeviated like that is the first observation what was the first observation that when he target the gold foil with the alpha particle he observed more, majority of the alpha particles are able to penetrate or able to pass through so what he concluded from this the atom has a dense nucleus this statement is true but that does not explain the observation so observation that atom is mostly empty space or most part of atom is empty that's why majority of the alpha particles are able to penetrate or pass through so in question 39 a certain elements have several isotopes which statement about these isotopes are correct so isotopes they have the same number of the proton and they have the same number of electrons but they will have different number of neutrons so they must have different number of electron that is wrong they have the same number of neutron that is also wrong they have the same number of nucleon they don't have the same nucleon number they must have the same number of proton so isotope should have the same number of proton and different number of neutron so you can say same proton number different neutron number or same atomic number but different atomic mass or the nucleon number so d will be the right answer so this question which row gives the relative charge of electron neutron and proton electrons relative comparative charge electrons are negatively charged neutron they don't have any charge and the protons are positively charged so what is the charge of electron it must be negative neutron should be neutral and the proton should be positive so it matches with option b that electrons are negative neutrons are neutral and the protons are positive so in the atomic model an atom consists of a central mass and orbited by much smaller particle so there is a orbiting particle and the central mass is there what is the name of the central mass and the orbiting particle so the central mass is due to the neutron and proton and what we call the central mass we call that as nucleus and the particles which are revolving around which particle is revolving around we call that as electron so the central mass is a nucleus and the orbiting particle or the particle moving around that is electron so d is the right answer for this so in this question we have uranium which is 235 is a radioactive isotope it undergo a chain decay like emitting out particle eventually form the stable isotope of 207 and these two isotopes are present uh, represented as shown uranium 235 and lead is there during this chain of decay how many proton and how many neutron are lost so how to identify basically first we want to find the number of the neutron in uranium so how many uh, neutrons will be there in uranium so it will be 235 minus 92 which is equals to 143 so 143 neutrons are there and how many protons are there 92 then in lead how many neutrons are there this will be 207 minus 82 is 125 and how many protons are there that is 82 the question is how many proton how many neutrons are lost and how many protons are lost like in the beginning it was having 92 protons and then after it is having 82 so how many protons are being lost when 92 become 82 so means 10 protons are lost and how many neutrons are lost it was 143 become 125 so 143 minus 125 it means 18 neutrons are lost so 18 neutrons and 10 protons are lost when uranium changes to 
lead. So a very important experiment improved scientists' understanding of the structure of the metal. The experiment involved alpha particle being fired at a gold foil, like there is a gold foil, and we target this gold foil, foil by a fast moving alpha particles. We observe most of them passes through, few of them deflected and few of them changes the direction. So basically what happened? That's a question. All the alpha particle were absorbed. That is totally wrong. They are not absorbed. All the alpha particles are undeflected. Not all of them are undeflected. That's also wrong because few of them deflected as well. Some alpha particle were attracted by the neutron. Look, this is totally wrong because neutrons are neutral particles. How neutron can attract the charge? Alpha particles have a charge, but neutron are the neutral particle. How neutral particle can attract the charged particles? So this statement is also wrong. Then the fourth statement, option D, some of the alpha particles are repelled by the proton in the gold atom. That is true because when these alpha particles are moving towards the nucleus, Nucleus contain proton. So these alpha particles are repelled by the proton and they changes their direction. So which diagram represent the structure of neutral atom, like which shows atom to be neutral atom. The number of the proton should be equal to number of electrons. So when we check this one, this is A is having one proton and it is having two electrons. So it cannot be neutral. When we check B, it is having two protons, the central, and it is having two electrons, so it will be neutral. What about C? It is having two proton and one electron, so it won't be neutral. What about D? It is having three proton and two electrons, so it won't be neutral. So to be a neutral atom, it should have equal number of protons and electrons. So the question is, which diagram shows a possible structure of a neutral atom? Again, the similar question as the last one. So to be a neutral atom, the number of proton and electron should be equal. And proton should be inside the nucleus and electron should be outside that. Like when you check for A, the proton, is. this is a proton. Neutron are inside the nucleus and electron is outside and number of the proton are equal to number of electrons. So A will be the answer. Why B is wrong? Because proton, neutron and electron all are inside the nucleus. That's why it is wrong. Why C is wrong? Because proton and electron are in the nucleus and neutron is outside the nucleus. That's why C is wrong. And D, proton is outside and electron and neutron are inside. That's why D is also wrong. So Others are even all, all are neutral because they have equal number of proton and electron. But the arrangement, the atom should consist of neutron and proton inside the nucleus and around the nucleus, there should be electrons. So scattering of the particle by a thin gold foil. So the question is which particles are used? provide evidence for a nuclear atom, which particles are scattered by a gold nuclei or which particles were used. So it was alpha particle. This is the symbol for alpha. So alpha particles were used for this experiment of a gold foil. So in this question, which statement is correct for a nucleus of an at any atom? The nucleus contain electron, neutron and proton. That is totally wrong. How nucleus contain electron, proton and neutron? Because nucleus is a central part, it contain neutron and proton and around the nucleus, electrons are revolving. So that's why statement 1A is totally incorrect. The nucleus contains same number of proton and as neutron, that is also wrong. Sometime it is same, sometime it is not. Like it's not valid for any atom. Nucleus has total charge zero. That is wrong. Nucleus contain a positive charge due to proton. The nucleus is very small compared to the atom. That is true. Like the size of the nucleus is negligible compared to size of an atom. 